Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to sleep with my eyes open so that way I will never be sleep deprived ever again. I just wish I knew the trick to sleeping with my eyes open. At this point in the show, we've met all the main characters and some of the most important side characters. But some people are probably wondering why I haven't acknowledged Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, and the simple reason is that they don't appear nearly as much as characters like Mrs. Puff or Pearl. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy is the episode where Spongebob and Patrick try to convince their heroes, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, to come out of retirement. This episode aired on August 21st, 1999 and introduced the superhero and sidekick duo of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. While they do get some focus occasionally in the series, they only appeared a few times per season, even back in the early days of the show, and that's not nearly as often as a character like Larry or Karen. Their characters were also written off the show after Ernest Borgnine, the voice of Mermaid Man, passed away in 2012, and their last speaking roles were in episode 343, Patrick Man, from season 9. After that, they either had non-speaking cameo appearances, or were just shown on TVs, comic books, and action figures after that episode. Circling back to this episode, the pairing of these characters was inspired by Batman and Robin. I did not know this as a kid, and it never kicked in with me personally until 2010 with episode 259, Back to the Past, where the younger Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are shown and voiced by Adam West and Berg Ward, voices of Batman and Robin respectively. Steven Hillenburg also said that his favorite celebrity guest stars in the show were Ernest Borgnine and Tim Conway. These two actors previously worked together in McHale's Navy from the 1960s, and Hillenburg knew that he needed a pair of actors who could really work off each other for these roles, and I think it goes without saying that these actors were perfect for these characters. While they may not appear often, it's still important that this episode will introduce them well, because we will still get a decent amount of exposure to them for a good handful of seasons throughout the show. So let's watch this episode and see how it does that. So the episode starts up and we see Murray Man and Barnacle Boy in tights. Now those are what I call superheroes. I already can't wait to see more of them. They use their powers to create the Raging Whirlpool and capture a villain who stole candy from a baby. But then, it turned out that what we just saw was a TV show, and then we see Spongebob and Patrick dressed up like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. That was just a TV show? Spongebob and Patrick soar outside and see Squidward sunbathing and call him their arch enemy Reflecto. They take out donuts and say the classic oath, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy unite. They try to assemble the creatures of the deep, just like the real heroes do, and a jellyfish actually shows up, but Squidward blows it away. They claim he's become too powerful and put a tent over him to cut him off from sunlight to make him weak. Squidward gets furious and breaks the tent and chases Spongebob and Patrick back to Spongebob's house. Then they start to wonder what the real Mermaid Man would do and Squidward tells them that the real Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy live in the retirement home on the opposite side of Bikini Bottom. Spongebob thinks they were working undercover and he and Patrick decide to go visit them. We then see Shady Shoals retirement home the place the heroes live. Spongebob and Patrick ask the caretaker to let them see Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, and he takes them to the area where they currently were. Spongebob and Patrick were so excited to meet their heroes in person, they couldn't hold it in. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy explain they were retired, and Spongebob says they can't retire because there's evil afoot, and then we hear Mermaid Man's most famous line. <laughs> Mermaid Man keeps going crazy overhearing the word Evil! And the caretaker throws Spongebob and Patrick out of the retirement home. Spongebob and Patrick were happy to meet their heroes, even though they were old now, but that meant they have so much experience. And because of this, Spongebob vows to try to get Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy out of retirement. The next day, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy go to the cafeteria for lunch, and Spongebob shows up again. He reminds Murray Man and Barnacle Boy about a time when they created a ray gun, which was soon stolen by their arch enemy, the evil Man Ray, ending with saying superheroes like them shouldn't be retired. This makes Murray Man mad, and the caretaker throws Spongebob out of Shady Shoals again, all the way back to his house. Later on, Spongebob and Patrick return to the retirement home with another plan. Spongebob is dressed as a lady, and Patrick robs him. Barnacle Boy comes up because he sees through this plan and tells him not to wake up Mermaid Man. 
SpongeBob sees Murrayne Man frames himself to sleep with his eyes open. See? There he is right there. How does he do that? I'm still trying and my eyes are starting to hurt me. Barnacle Boy shouting ends up waking up Mermaid Man and they start arguing. SpongeBob and Patrick show that they've painted their invisible boatmobile and Barnacle Boy finally snaps and they decide to come out of retirement because the evil was SpongeBob and Patrick all along. So they put on their old rings, say their oath, and officially resume their superhero activities. They try throwing water balls and doing the raging whirlpool, but SpongeBob and Patrick are admired by their actions. With the third time being the charm, they summon creatures from the deep, which are other residents of the retirement home. They grab SpongeBob and Patrick and throw them away. SpongeBob and Patrick were pleased they were able to get Murray Men and Barnacle Boy out of retirement. Murray Men and Barnacle Boy felt accomplished and satisfied to have defeated SpongeBob and Patrick and to be back as superheroes again. Later on, SpongeBob and Patrick are watching a new show called The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Here, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy were playing checkers and their phone rang. Mermaid Man thought the phone was broken and hung up, and the show ends with the announcer telling the audience to tune in next week to find out if Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy will get their phone fixed. SpongeBob thought this was better than the old show, then winks at the audience, and the episode ends. Ah, so a show about two old, previously retired superheroes playing checkers and being their phone fixed is more interesting than a show about two superheroes in their pride fighting against the forces of evil. So that was Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, and I have to say, this was a really good introduction to the legendary duo of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. It does a good job at showing what their characters are all about, like how Mermaid Man is the more forgetful, and Barnacle Boy is the more self-aware and authoritative. Their dynamic is iconic, and seeing them play off each other as well as SpongeBob and Patrick is always a good watch. Murray Man screaming, EVIL, is always funny and that will never change no matter what, and you won't be able to convince me otherwise. Never. The concept of these old superheroes who don't have much energy to do a lot of these kinds of actions anymore is cool, and it's played out very well here. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy may be old, but they do still have a lot of life left in them, and they realize it here. You gotta wonder though, what kind of evil actually happens in Bikini Bottom? Aside from Plankton trying to steal the secret formula and the standard criminal activity, there doesn't seem to be a great amount of evil or trouble that would need Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Of course, it is SpongeBob saying all these things. I don't even need to go on, you already know what I was talking about in that sentence. But I digress, this is still a good episode with lots of iconic moments. In addition to the EVIL line, there's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy arguing with each other, Squidward destroying the tent, and Barnacle Boy's classic Old Coot punchline. This episode is also a great introduction to the characters of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. They're very likable characters who have their moments just like every other character, but the fact we don't see them so often just adds to how special their scenes are. While they are shown more often than characters like Spongebob's mom and dad, I'd say they are a bit more on the minor end of the side characters since they only appeared a couple times per season back when they had speaking roles. Regardless, that doesn't change the fact that they are awesome, iconic fan favorite characters and they will always be remembered as a great part of the show. And before we go, I feel it would be right for me to do this. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy is a great episode, and those same characters are always fun to see. And while they may not have speaking roles in the show anymore, these characters will always be an awesome part of the series. I don't think I'll go the rest of the series without remembering these characters, no matter how long the show goes on for. I'm also still trying to sleep with my eyes open, and it's just hurting my eyes even more! Ah, <sighs> that's better. Ow! That hurt!